you start the additive, make sure the paper towel is kind of pulled back a little bit so where you're getting ready to attach so that the lid doesn't stick together. Keep the lid on your sculpture so that you don't ruin the cut because you have a special unique cut to your piece. You can hug this a little bit if it's not the right form. So here is the head and it's ready to be attached. So when you score and slip, you have to score where you're going to put this. So you're scratching the surface and applying the slip and then what is going to be attached. So this will be here. Now that's going to stick for a while, but when the slip dries, it's going to fall off. So you're going to go through and smooth this together. And then here, I could just take a tool and pull some clay from this and work it together, but then it means the head's going to get skinnier. We don't want that. So roll a little coil. I already started it, but I'm going to go ahead when you roll coils, it's better to roll it over wet clay or wet canvas, and then it works um, its way in there. Two hands is a little bit easier. I'm going to score and slip this, be liberal, and then push this down. You have to actually push in and then up. So I've got my hand underneath the head so it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to go through and do that, and then pull this off, pull this off. And there are a lot of different tools, so figure out what works for you. And yes, it feels a little bit muddy, but you'll come back. So this is a piece that has like this appendage. It's a head, but this appendage that's sticking off. So the bag's going to squish it. So I'm going to get some plastic plates out so that the bag will be like only this close to it. Okay, so I'll talk to you about that. So that's how you'll store this. So now it's attached and you can then make sure um, it's fused together really well. So that's additive. Here, if I have this piece of clay, I'm going to flatten this. Hopefully it's going to be big enough. Maybe not. I'm going to grab some. And they have the little rolling pins. If you're going to make a small piece of additive, don't flatten your entire extra clay. So I want to make sure if I'm going to use these little circle cu cookie cutters. Um, there's ones that look like leaves you can use. So you're going to go investigate. Maybe I want a pattern first. So there's these rolling pins that create textures. And then this is thinner. We want this to be thinner. Then I can go ahead and cut this out and this little thing makes it pop out. And then if I wanted to, maybe I want a unique turtle and have all these different shapes. You can do what you want, but you can use additive for those different patterns or cut out little, you know, tiles or shapes that you can, um, you know, you can cut with this, you can cut with a wire tool, but you want to be creative with that, okay? Now, if this little piece, because if this is a shell, typically the head comes out from something, from the shell, so I might actually score and slip this and then only smooth it right here. And I'm going to do that rough because I'm going to remove it because I don't know if we want that. But you can see how you can only smooth one side and it looks like it's coming out of an area. Okay? So um, ask questions as you need. Explore the tools because there's a lot of different tools that can create fun patterns or help you with your design.